Airport casino proposal moved to the front burner at the Capitol this afternoon. The debate going on for three hours. They just voted and they have approved the bill 77 to 73. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis joining us live tonight with more on the casino battle happening at the Capitol. Good evening, Mark. Good evening, Scott. Good evening, everyone from the Hartford Newsroom. And that's right, breaking news. The casino bill has passed the House of Representatives just moments ago, 77 to 73. It now moves on to the state Senate. Lawmakers from Greater New Haven and Greater Bridgeport say it's a job-challenged area and needs an industry that can create job growth, and they want to place their bets on a Bridgeport casino. The popularity of the MGM proposal for a casino complex on the Bridgeport waterfront is reflected in the near unanimous support by state lawmakers from Greater New Haven and Greater Bridgeport. You have to give the Bridgeport and the New Haven group a lot of credit. They are advocating strongly for their constituency. They completely reject the notion that the Bridgeport bill in any way jeopardizes the current slot machine revenue sharing compact with the Mohegans and Mashantuckets. The Attorney General has been very clear in his testimony before the Public Safety Committee and his letters to legislative leadership that uh, this bill does not in any way jeopardize the compact. If we put a shovel in the ground and we start to collect money, that would be one thing. But all we're doing is we're trying to make sure that Connecticut gets the best deal for a casino that is stated in this area. But legislators from around East Windsor and in southeastern Connecticut say the Bridgeport bill is designed simply to derail the financial for the casino the tribes want to build on the former movie theater complex just a few miles south of where the new MGM casino complex is now scheduled to open this summer in Springfield. We want to make sure that we get the East Windsor process in and complete and we don't want to do anything to jeopardize uh, that process so let's get that open first and get that underway and then we can talk about what happens in the future. But the advocates for this open bidding casino plan for Bridgeport or somewhere else say that Connecticut has a lot more to worry about than just that opening Springfield, uh, that casino in Springfield, that another big one is going to be opening in Boston soon, and that'll be even more competition for the two casinos in southeastern Connecticut, making Bridgeport an even more interesting proposition. And again, repeating, if you're just joining us, the House of Representatives just moments ago approved that competitive bidding casino bill that uh, does uh, concentrate on Bridgeport by a vote of 77 to 73. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.